Hey guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I did use products I purchased at IMATS. I just kind of like went over my experience and everything as well. So if you like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Good morning. I look a mess. I don't know what is happening. I know part of it is hormonal because I want to eat absolutely everything. And then also, the second I got back from New York, my face just like exploded. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I'm not happy about it. So, I have all the products that I purchased from iMats kind of out in front of me. But I'm just going to be getting ready for work and I'm going to use some of the new products that I got from iMats. I will say these nails I also got from iMats. And they are a new set that I haven't tried before. I did have to trim them quite a bit and then shape them a little bit different. And these are from Static Nails. They sell these at Sephora now. But yeah, so far I'm really liking these. To prime my face, I'm going to go ahead and use my regular Cover FX Mattifying Anti-Acne Treatment because I need that right now. So I picked up the Pore Professional from the Benefit booth, which was so cute by the way. And I, I mean, I've tried this like forever ago and I remember not like caring for it, but the Makeup Forever one is just not doing it for my pores anymore because I don't know what is going on. So I'm glad I picked this up. Oh, it's really silicone -y. I have to be careful with like the extra silicone primers, silicone, silicone primers. I feel like they break me out, like they fog my pores, but we'll see. Already though, I do like the way this is filling my pores a lot more than the Makeup Forever. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my favorite right now. I did get the lightest shade, so I got Porcelain and Shell Ivory to kind of mix them. So I flew on Buddy Passes, which I am so grateful for because it is a free flight. You just have to fly standby, so you're not guaranteed a flight. So I getting there was fine. I got on the flight that I was scheduled to get on. So I want to say I landed a little bit like after 2, because my check-in wasn't at 3, and then I had a car... Which, so I paid extra for a car to pick me up at my ba like at baggage claim, at my terminal kind of thing. Baggage claim, yeah. And I called them when I landed, and I was like, hey, I'm here, where do I go to find you? And he's like, oh, we can't park over there anymore. I'm like, okay, so I paid an extra $7 for you not to pick me up where I said to pick me up. That's great. So they told me to get on this green bus. So I finally get on the bus, and... It takes me to this big ass tent that's like just you know outside and it was cold and it was a little windy so I was like shit I only brought like my little leather jacket which kind of sucked I should have been smarter and brought like a little bit bigger of a jacket but that's okay so I get over there and then my driver calls me and I'm glad I answered it because I was like I'm not gonna answer that number I don't know who it is well I answered it and it was my driver and he's like oh I'm at baggage claim and I was just like they told me you couldn't pick me up over there and he's like well we're not supposed to but we still do, and I'm just like, oh, God. So I could have just been over there anyways. But I tell him, he's like, well, what do you see in front of you? I'm like, I see a big-ass white tent. <laughs> That's all I see. And buses and other cars and stuff. So, And he goes, okay, be there in three. And he just hung up, so I was like, okay. So I'm sitting there waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and then finally I see the car that's supposed to pick me up. I see the number, and I get in, and we're driving. New York driving is in. Insane. I was not prepared for that. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair, of course. Oh, sorry. I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder. If I forget to mention something, I'm going to have it down below. <laughs> I'm a horrible multitasker. So I picked up quite a few brushes while I was there as well. I'm going to use the Morphe E1 to set the rest of my face. Holy moly. This is the softest brush ever. It's so good. dense. Oh, I love that. Okay. To kind of bronze and contour, I did pick up the Hoola Benefit bronzer, like the original one. I didn't like the light one. It was a little weird looking. So I am using my Morphe M527. Oh, but anyways, so I finally get to my hotel. I got my room key and I'm going up to my room and then I get a call. And then they're saying, oh, well, we may have to change your room for whatever reason. I don't even remember what it was. To be honest, I was so, like, de like sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I couldn't even get settled. So I didn't have to switch my room or anything. So then I was getting ready. I'll link that vlog down below if you haven't seen that. But then I was just getting ready to go out to dinner with them and everything. This is just a BH Cosmetics number four. And I'm going to go with my Tarte 
Double Duty Beauty Contour and Highlight. And then everything after that was great, honestly. Like, going to dinner was so much fun, and then even just walking around afterwards, taking pictures, and then getting back to the hotel and just kind of like finally unwinding, took my shower, and then passed out. So I woke up, and then I got ready for eye mats. I played myself wearing my wedge sneakers. They're so cute, but oh, that killed me. So all through eye mats, the only thing that was really disappointing with eye mats was the fact that they were sold out of so many things. Like I figured they need to have a stock set, like a set amount for every single day. Like when we went up to a um, a booth and they're like, oh, we sold out of that like, early on Friday. I was like, people pay a lot of money to come to these things. I mean, the ticket's even like almost 70, whatever it is. People pay for flights, people pay for a hotel, people pay a lot of money to come to this for the products and, you know, networking and all that kind of stuff too, but I was like, how can you be out of everything on Friday? People come and to spend money on your products and you saw on the, they had a lot of stuff was sold out, that's all I'm going to say. And I was just like really disappointed in that, but we did get a bunch of other things and it was a lot of fun, but then me trying to leave was dramatic. I'm going to go with the Hot Mama blush. I did pick this up too from the Balm. Their packaging is just too cute, honestly. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay. So I left early. They stayed and shopped a little bit longer. And I had left, so I was walking by myself and everything, which I was fine with by then. Like, it didn't bother me. So from IMATS, which we walked to from my hotel to a Walgreens to IMATS, and then from IMATS was like 30 minutes back to my hotel. And it was just like, I was so tired of like carrying everything, walking around. Oh my goodness, I couldn't even tell you how exhausted I was, and those shoes were killing me. Learned my lesson on that one. But then, I get to my hotel right when my driver pulls up, which is great. But then I get to the airport, and it is hot. I had to go to the LaGuardia airport, which I already didn't, didn't hear good things about. And then, oh, I get up there, and of course, I'm flying standby. And she tells me every single flight is one oversold into your number nine on the standby list. So eight people would have to get on other flights before I could even get the chance to. Shit. Okay, they put me on seven flights. I could have stayed at IMATS until they closed. So I didn't get out of that airport until after eight o'clock and then it, I didn't get into somewhere in Missouri. I don't even know where I stayed, honestly. Somewhere in Missouri and I had to stay the night at the airport. So I'm lucky I bought like baby wipes and deodorant and toothpaste at the other airport before I got on the flight, just in case. I'm so glad I did that because I would have been so upset. So I get there, and then the guy tells me, oh, you can go upstairs, and there's like a bench in Starbucks, and I can sleep there. I'm like, okay, good. So that was nice. But I stayed the night at that airport, and then my flight wasn't until 5.45 to Dallas, and then I had to fly Dallas to Amarillo. So I still had two more flights to take, and I had to be at work. So, my flight from Dallas to Amarillo landed at 9.45, I came home, it changed, and I was back at work before 11. <laughs> it was a mess. For brows, I'm going to go with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Overall, I did really enjoy the experience though. IMAX was amazing, there were so many amazing like people there, and companies and stuff. I just really wish we could hit a lot more booths. The only people who are smart, honestly, was a dose of colors. They had like a checklist, so if you knew exactly what you wanted, you could just check it off and go straight to the register and they could check you out. You didn't have to wait in line to do swatches and look at everything. Like there was a line all the way around their corner. We filled out a little check sheet and went straight to the checkout. It was amazing. If everybody did that, but it was a really fun experience. I'm not going to base New York off of that trip because I was so high strung and so stressed to begin with. I need to speed it up, I'm gonna be late for work. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to base like my entire New York thoughts on that trip. I mean, the hotel I say that was really beautiful. There's a ton of beautiful buildings. Just the hustle and bustle, I am not used to that. So going from Amarillo to 
New York, even though I lived in Chicago for three years, like, that was intense. It was crazy. So I got three palettes while I was there. I got the Meat Matte Trimony <laughs> from The Balm, and then I got both the Laura Lee palette and the Bad Boss Pro. I think I have to use the Laura Lee. Look at her cute little face. Ugh, I love the packaging. So pretty. This palette is so beautiful. Okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna go in with Pris Prot. Pris Prot. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Pris Prot right here. Let's go warm transition shade. I'm probably not gonna do anything too crazy today. I'm just going to work, but I do wanna try out most of these shadows. This is a Sephora, I think it's like a Pro Crease. Yeah, number 10. My new all time. This beats out my Sigma E40 because it's just so fluffy and soft. I'm gonna go in with Mama Bird right next to that. I really did enjoy the trip though. Like the experience of IMATS just in general was so cool. Seeing all the booths and everything. It reminds me of like food expos that me and Joey used to go to all the time back in Chicago. I was like flashback to all of the food booths. But there was no food to eat. <laughs> just gorgeous makeup and I loved it. So I bought a ton of eye brushes, even two from Smith Cosmetics that I'm so excited about. But I didn't want to open those. I don't like using, especially eye brushes, before I wash them. I'm going to go in with britches down here. I'm going to go in with Alabama down here. These shadows are stunning, by the way. And I was so happy that they had this. I wanted this for so long, but I just, I don't know, I never got it online. And... They said that that was the only stock that they had left was there. Like, you can't get it online anymore. And I got my hands on it. I also filmed a haul yesterday. So I don't know which one of these is going to be up. But if you haven't seen that one, I'll link that down below. Because I kind of go in depth of everything that I purchased. And why and everything. I really wanted to get the Jeffree Star and Manny collab to do a review on it. But of course, that sold out in like an hour on Friday, apparently. That whole... Beautylish booth did. <laughs> they had on most of their products, they literally had on there swatches available. <laughs> like no products. Ugh. It was so sad. Now I'm going to go in with whiskers right here. So did any of y'all get the Jeffree Star and Mini collab, like were you able to get it? Honestly, I really wanted the bundle just for the packaging and then the highlighter, but I really, really wanted the packaging just because it was so pretty and it's such a controversy, <laughs> to be honest. Oh my god, it cracks me up. They sold out of that in like 30 minutes and you couldn't even get on their site, so I did buy them individually and I still used the code to you know, save a little bit. Okay, I said I wouldn't go crazy and look at me. Doing a full out eye over here. I'm just going to take sugar right here. I'm going to go over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with basic. I'm just going to do the brow bone. That is like the perfect brow bone highlight ever. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I did to the lid to my lower lash line. I'm going to take like Purse Pot, Mama Bird, all of them. <laughs> We're going with a little bit of britches and then whiskers. I feel like I need a little bit more depth in the crease. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of more whiskers and bubs. So far, yes, <laughs> it's so pretty. I love that palette. I'm just gonna tight line with my Maybelline Define a Line. And for the lower lash line, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Length. I used to use this all the time. Oh yeah, I'm also wearing my I Match shirt. I love it, I think it's so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with my Maybelline Mini Brush Mascara. <laughs> I'm just going with my R. Douglas Beast today. Okay, while well, the lashes are drying, I'm going to go in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And of course, my Morphe M501. I 
And I think I want a little bit of this on the inner corner. And then I'm going to line my lips with my Milani 03 Nude. So I picked up four lippies. I got the Dose of Color in Bear With Me, Sand, and Stone. I think I want to do Bear With Me. But then I also got this one in Committed from the Balm. I think I'm going to try Bear With Me. Ugh. This formula feels amazing though. And the last thing I'm going to do is go through my brows with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I think I need to get shade number two because this is number three. I thought I liked the NYX brow gel until I tried this stuff. Holy moly. So that is the makeup. I absolutely love how it turned out. That palette, the blush, the bronzer, like everything. Even the lip right now is giving me life. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair off camera and I'll see you in a second. Alright you guys, that is going to be it for this tutorial. I really hope you did enjoy it. I love how the look turned out. Let me know if you were at IMATS and what you thought of it. And then also if you have this Violet Boss palette, I think it is gorgeous. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!